one thing that is holding going to hold them back is that shelter print. Now that was isolated to New York rents, which went up and played an oversized uh, part. Oh, no, 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 no. But How much did two blocks in New Jersey play? Paul, yeah. step in here. <laughs> was are you telling me national inflation was Paul Sweeney's housing fault? I, I think it was Paul Sweeney's fault in particular. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's to blame. You should get all the hate mail. Uh, uh, no, but seriously, they're going to need to see that shelter number come down a bit, uh, okay. and you know. I, but I don't disagree. Look, the, September has to be firmly on the table. The markets believe it's firmly on the table. And even a Fed that's a little bit behind should be able to move in September. Joey, how do you think about the U.S. consumer here? Because we're getting inf inflation's coming down, but it's still at that high reset level up 19% versus 2019. How's the U.S. consumer doing today? Look, I'll reframe it this way. We should thank the U.S. consumer because one thing we keep hearing in earnings reports and in the Fed's beige book is that consumers are price sensitive again. Mm -hmm. When we look at things like goods prices, broad-based deflation, consumers want deals and they're getting them on cars, on furniture, uh, and on apparel this month. So on uh, airfares. On airfares, yeah. airfares plunged. So consumers are back to that norm that they had before the pandemic of to part with my money you're going to have to offer me value and that is helping restore healthy inflation dynamics so they might still be grumpy from what we've all been through mm -hmm. um and we also as as uh, tom had alluded to see a lot of polarization in those sentiment numbers uh but you know the reality is that consumers have taken control back that pricing power that companies enjoyed during the pandemic has evaporated, and now they need to deliver value. So, so some of those margins are going to get pressed. 